Welcome back to the screencast with Joe Darnell. In this one, I'm going to look at how to create a very strong password for any sort of online account using 1Password's password generator on the Mac. So let's say I'm going to create a Twitter account today. And I want to call it Joe's Old Fashioned. I give it an email. And I come to the point that I'm ready to give it a password, but I don't have anything in mind. Now everyone these days on the internet is talking about how we need to use strong passwords. And I like to keep all of my passwords in one password. But sometimes it's easy to forget just how easy it is to create strong passwords and keep them logged in one password. One password now has a built-in password generator and it's awesome. So let's go back to Safari. And I'm at this point that I'm ready to give it a password. What I'm going to do is create that new password from 1Password's built-in generator, which is in the menu bar app. Here is 1Password in the menu bar. After you select it, we can choose from many things that we could do to make the password more powerful than it already is. By default, it's got 14 characters, and they're mostly letters, and they're mostly capitalized. But let's make it a little bit more interesting. Allow for ambiguous characters, allow for characters to repeat, and allow for symbols and digits and more letters. Now we have a very strong password, and if I hit fill, it adds it to the field for the new account. Just to make sure there's no confusion, I'm going to delete this copy in the sign in form. And now I'll hit sign up for Twitter. 1Password prompts me to save this new password to my vault. And everything is a go. This means that now when I go back to 1Password, it has that new account from Twitter, its password and strength, and even the website that I created the password in. At this time, there's one thing you might want to add to 1Password. Go over to logins, and you'll see that the Twitter account was not added here. So I want to hit plus login, give it a name, and give it the rest of the credentials. To get that password, I'll come back here to passwords and copy it. Now put it back in that login, and add the web page that I would log from. And everything is good. Thanks for watching the screencast with Joe Darnell. If you want to watch more, visit joedarnell.com where you will find more how to's there. You can follow my blog and more of my social life on Twitter. My handle is at underscore joedarnell. Thanks for watching.